This is Prince Stanley coming to you today with 100,000 watts of pure love. I want to talk to you today about prophecy and more specifically praying for specific healing words. We are at a turning point for the body of Christ. God is dealing in the nations of the world, preparing for the great harvest before the coming of the Lord, the Messiah Yeshua. Ministers and servants of God who have been faithfully serving behind the scenes for years will emerge to the forefront. I gave a prophecy approximately a year ago concerning this. It will be a forefront, not of pride, but a leading position of effectiveness, a place of unique and overwhelming influence to the nations of the world. This influence will begin to flow into the leaders of every strata of society, and then from these leaders, this spirit-anointed influence will emanate to their respective circles of influence. Many of you listening to this podcast or reading this teaching will be affected by this move, and many will transition into a prophetic healing ministry. To be faithful to this calling, you must first listen to God, and this presupposes that, number one, you daily spend time in God's Word. Number two, you daily spend time in your private place of prayer and intercession. Number three, you live holy. Number four, you harbor no unforgiveness towards any person, any ministry, or any church. And number five, you live a life of fasting as the Holy Spirit leads you. The five that I just mentioned are mandatory for all true ministry giftings, not just the prophetic office. You must have a platform to stand upon. From such a platform, God will create other platforms of confidence for ministry, all created via His Word. Many of you listening to this podcast or reading this teaching will be affected by this move, and many will transition into a prophetic healing ministry. You will know if this is you, as God will already have given you way marks along the way, that if you have not recognized them already, you will now be able to look back and see with spiritual eyesight how they have been placed in your life. email that came to us as a result of a posting I made approximately one year ago called The Vision God Gave Me has prompted me to share about how prophecy and visions may come. Sometimes they may come infrequently over a period of months or years, other times frequently. For example, when I was 11 years of age, I gave a double prophecy at the same time to my older sister and to a neighbor who was in our dining room. I remember the exact spot. I told them that men would one day travel to the moon. Now this was many years before such exploration had even been pondered. Not even space travel had been pondered. And also I prophesied that one day I would be a minister. The latter, because these people knew me, probably seemed more preposterous than the former. But both came to pass. I loved Jesus at that age, and I won a Bible for inviting 17 kids to my Sunday school class. But after my father died four years later, I wandered into sin. Praise God, I gave my life to Christ after graduating from college. Starting in the early 1970s, I prophesied several times publicly that God was going to elevate Holy Spirit-baptized African Americans into positions of political leadership. This came to pass after several years. At times, the Lord would give me specific prophecies, not words of knowledge, for specific individuals. For example, one man who had been involved politically had dedicated his life to ministry. Yet he had not experienced an answer to what he had received as a vision for God's will for him. I was speaking in Tulsa, Oklahoma in the United States, and I met him again after a few years. We had lunch together, and I prophesied to him at the lunch table. 
I said, you will receive an offer for employment in ministry within the next 24 hours. It came to pass exactly as I said, and he was exceedingly happy. I had nothing to do with that, nor did I have any knowledge of it, except the word of God that came to me by the Holy Spirit. After teaching in a seminar in Chicago in the United States, a lady came up to me and asked me for a word of prophecy. I was really wanting to go to my room because I had ministered quite a while. And I had prayed for the sick and it was getting late. I wanted to rest. I think she was the last person I talked to. She told me, I have two wombs. If I conceive in the one womb, the baby will live. If I conceive in the other, the baby will die. Do you have a word for me? I prophesied to her instantly, and I said, You will have a son, his name will be Samuel, and he will live. About two years or so later, I was in that area ministering again. The lady came up to me afterwards, I had forgotten about her or who she was, and she invited me to her home for dinner. I went, I met her husband, who was a policeman, and then she brought out little Samuel and reminded me of the prophecy I had given her. Healing many times accompanies prophecy, and more specifically, a word of healing will accompany prophecy, similar to a word of knowledge. For example, one time in Texas, I prayed for several barren ladies who could not have children. I prophesied to them and laid hands on them. They all conceived within 30 days. Interestingly enough, the next time I was in that city, women were saying to me, Don't touch me. Don't lay hands on me. At times, I have laid hands on people in meetings and prophesied nations, 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 or specifically, you will preach to crowds of tens of thousands. One time, several ministers were at a convention, and as they got up one by one to testify, they discovered that I had laid hands on each one of them at a particular time previously and prophesied the same about nations and that all of the prophecies had come to pass specifically. One minister had been ready to quit pastoring and then began to preach to crowds of tens of thousands. Praise God for speaking to the hearts of his people to bless them and then bring salvation and healing to multitudes. What I am prophesying to you today again is this. We are at a turning point for the body of Christ. God is dealing in the nations and regions of the earth, in the United States and in all the other countries preparing for the great harvest before the coming of the Lord. Ministers of God who have been faithfully serving behind the scenes for years will now emerge to the forefront. It will be a forefront, not a pride, but a leading position of effectiveness, a place of unique and overwhelming influence to the nations of the world. This influence will begin to flow into the leaders of every strata of society, and then from these leaders, this spirit-anointed influence will emanate to their respective circles of influence. Many of you listening to this podcast or reading this teaching will be affected by this move, and many will transition into a prophetic healing ministry. Healing is so important. If you haven't already, read and study health at the website realmiracles.com. You can select health from the blue navigation bars at the left of any page. Also on the same website at www.realmiracles.com, you'll want to study how to be healed. Memorize the scriptures in How to Be Healed. 
You can find how to be healed by clicking on the blue navigation bar on the left of any page titled Help for You and then click on How to be Healed. When Jesus was on the cross, he cried out to the Father, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? He was in such pain for you and for me and for the sins of all people. He bore our sins, our sicknesses, our diseases, our pains, so we would not have to bear them. If you have ever prayed for healing for yourself and it did not come to pass right away, why do you think it was? It may be any number of reasons. Study the section Hindrances to Healing in my booklet called Health that's on the website that I previously mentioned. It might be because of hindrances to your healing. You can read about these in my booklet Health on the website I mentioned at realmiracles.com. Remember, just click blue navigation bar at the left of any page called Health. It might be because God is wanting you to experience the awfulness of the situation so that you will covenant with him that you will pray for the sick after he heals you. You will hate pain and you will minister healing. Jesus, our Lord, was resurrected. You will be too. Go pray for the sick. Promise God that you will start the prophetic healing ministry to which he is calling you. Pray for God to give you a specific healing word for people. This has been Apostle Talk, and this is Prince Hanley coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure healing love.